Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am back with sort of round two of doing um, ephemera from my to-do box. And I have a bunch here that I picked some things out for already. So I thought we would do those first and then we'll go kind of free form from there. Let's say hi and hugs to Alzana, T uh, Tijuana, Kimberly, Ann, and Fran. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so about 25 till. Boy, oh boy. I tell you, time flew yesterday doing this. And so, um, I don't know. We're going to just get going and, and just try and get as much done as possible. So as I said, these I have picked things out for. So we're gonna work on this pile first, but let's let's set it to the side so we can kind of do one at a time. So this little one, I didn't feel, this is um, one of the uh, <sighs> removable belly bands for a page and then a pocket. I did these a while back. I think I did them on YouTube. Sometimes I can't remember if I did them YouTube or on Patreon. But anyway, that's what these are. And this one is so, the paper so gorgeous and it's so busy that really all I wanted was something in here. So I am just going to pop that little label in there. One of my little homemade labels and that is all I feel like that needs so we'll put that there it does need some um, distressing I won't do all of that on camera this side oh I'm so sorry excuse me um just has a little lace and that's all I feel that needs and then this one, I picked out a little heart from Char's Crafty Shop on Etsy, and I'm going to put it right there. So let's get that glued on. Just put it right there. And um, and then those those pieces are other than the distressing, are ready to go. So I think I should make probably a distress pile as well as a completely done pile. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so then this little one, I'm not quite sure what to do on the tag. I think I may just do a, um, a label right here because I do, I do love the fabric. This is one of my... Um, okay, that's not going to come to me. I want to say farmhouse. That's not right. Feed sack. One of my feed sack digitals. Jeez. Oh, man, oh, man. Just kind of wonder about myself some days. Okay, so that's on there. And then we're just going to put this little flower there. And I think that's all that little pocket needs. So thanks for hanging out for yet another day of creating from the to-do box. I'm not necessarily using the things from Mushroom Market today, but maybe. And then, um, yeah, I just, just want to get going on my on my to-do box over there so it isn't so cram jammed full okay let's oh you know what might be nice if it will fit is oh those might be nice this is from g kerr um some of these little word things collect moments not things that's nice look at that we are making the quick decisions yet again today. I do need to give that some, just because it was kind of hard to cut out. 
<laughs> Maybe not for everybody, but for me, it was hard to cut out. Okay, there we go. Then I'm just going to put that right there. My poor glue stick. It's been sitting open for hours. <laughs> it's kind of goopy. Okay, collect moments, not themes. Okay, so I think when that's in its pocket, that will show. That'll be cute on a page. Yeah? Okay, so that needs to be inked yet. That's going over there. Okay, this pocket, I made these quite some time ago on my channel. Um, I just thought about putting... Um, putting a coffee dyed window envelope onto a piece of scrap and making a window. And I thought this little cluster would be real cute right there. And then this one, as far as I'm concerned, it's finished. So let's see, let's get all of our Oh, there are strings out of the way. Get glue on all the edges, kind of. Just so we don't have things poking up. And let's put that down right there. Super cute cluster. I did not make this cluster. Somebody sent it to me. Um, but I think it's super cute. Okay, so that starts the completely done pile. Yes. We're happy about that. Okay, so then this little one. Let's see, what was I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of putting this on the pocket here. So let's do that. Let's get that done and let's see I can only go up so far okay go clear down to the bottom like that all right there we go there um I don't know. The tags could or don't have to be decorated. Um, I think I might wait on that to see what journal this goes in. On the belly band, I, I want to put this piece of slow stitching on there. I think that's kind of fun. Gives it a little something more. Hmm, do I like it better up there? I think I like it better down here. Okay. Um, I think I might use Fabri-Tac for this. Forgive me while we wait for the Fabri-Tac to go down. I need to refill, but I've been waiting to refill until right before I go to my retreat. Get it all filled up and ready to go, go, go for days on end. I always like to, on my slow stitching when I attach it, I like to put glue over my knots in the slow stitching so that it's got that extra little bit that will keep it from coming undone. Oops, go this way. It's got printing on it on this, on this fabric. We don't want to Okay, now I got my hands all full of fabric tac which is always how it goes. Okay. There we go there. Okay, so I'm going to call that one done. And then if there's a little piece of the ephemera or something that we'd like to put on one of these tags, we could also put... One of the tags here 
too or a, a taller tag or whatever so options on this one but for all intents and purposes it's done okay I'm gonna lay it up this way so that can dry okay then this little pocket I grabbed this cluster I loved this with it but it's a little long so I'm gonna clip it nobody says we have to keep it the same way <laughs> and um and then I think that's really cute on there I do think I'm gonna give it just a bit of this and then I also think I'll use a flower we'll pick out a flower I didn't do that ahead But I thought maybe by picking out some things ahead of time, we'd really fly through decorating a bunch today, which would be awesome. Okay, you are going to go right about there. Okay, super cute. Now, I just don't know... This is my Char's Crafty Shop. Yep. Okay. Out my husband goes, slams the garage door. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, you're out. I hear you. You are out. Okay, that little pocket is now done. I really like that um, little cluster going across there. Okay, that's that's real fun. Okay, that one's all done. Goes in the all done pile. This one, I grabbed this cluster that I thought would be cute on it. Again, with the spring colors and stuff. Um, don't know whether I want it to go there or down there. I think I want it to go up there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that little bit. It's hanging down, but it's not adding anything to it. So, yeah. And it's okay if that sticks up above. It won't hurt anything. Okay, so we want to go about right to this tip with glue. Okay. That down there. Oop. My watch is talking to me. It's telling me it's time to stand up. I don't have time to stand up. I have videos to make <laughs> an ephemera to decorate so quit bugging me watch okay is that good or do we want a little something on that let's look at timeless crochet for you because we haven't used one of her things yet Cute as that. Let's see. No, I like that. I like the butterfly. Okay. So That down there and those two pockets are done there's that one it's also dimensional so that's awesome okay those two are finished now oh yeah this one um, 
this little one we made a while ago and I was looking at this cute cluster that I must have received in an Etsy share and I was thinking how cute that would look on here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on there. So, a bit of Tim Holtz. I think I have some in my, some Tim Holtz in my, um, let's use this, scrap bag. And I might grab that so that we can make the front of the pocket similarly. This is the last piece that I have pre predetermined what I wanted to put on it. Okay, do a little there just in case. That side's fine. Let's do this while we're at it. Now this is a lighter uh, lighter because it's one of my digitals. This is the 1907 recipes. I think it's 07. 07 or 06. I can never remember. But, um, so some Tim Holtz on it would also cause it to be a little more sturdy. I also have this left over from yesterday. Ooh, couldn't that be cute on there? Okay, we're going to figure that out. But let's get this on here. Onto the tag. I was going to use this other pile over here, but I just haven't yet. Sometimes, you know, if you're on a roll, just go with it, you know, even if you're not using what you thought you would in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to have to cut off a tiny, tiny little bit there. Okay, just snip that off. Okay, doesn't that make a cute card? Yes. Okay, so let me grab my small bag of scraps. Because I do have Tim, Timmy paper in here. I know I do. So, for instance, this. Um this that's the same as that so we could do something with that maybe okay set those back there okay I think I'm gonna cut this right here Oops, I keep, my, my marker just doesn't want to stay in there. I think my, my cup's too full. I need another cup, but I don't have room. Let's see, where was I? Right there. Okay, now that's the right size. Now we have an extra scrap. So yeah, a little extension on Scrappy Saturday today. Um always fun. Let's see. Like that. Like that. Push that down all the way. That up to the top. I'm wondering about my little about my little scrap here if I should go something like that and then we'll put something on there. I'm I'm leaning toward some um Timmy butterflies because there's butterflies on the tag. So hope you're all having a good Sunday. You've had a good weekend and all. We will have been volleyballing. Let's 
see, Sunday we head home after the last game. You don't have to do this on embossing. I just like how it brings it out a little bit more. Okay, so this one's going to go clear to the bottom. Go like that. Then we're going to do this one and then a little piece across, and then we'll decide where to go from there. I think butterflies myself. There's that. We'll put this like right about here. Yeah. I have really had fun playing with all this stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed too. Just been just been decorating. Isn't it just the best? I love love doing the decorating. Okay, let me grab my Tim Holtz pouch. And I think I've got, you know, I've got the these. So should be a butterfly of some sort in here. I've got that one. Do I have any? Ooh, I have a great big one there. Something like that. I think that will work. Is that how I want it? Or do I want it this way? Yeah, I think I want it like that. So that little flower isn't covered up, but yeah, that'll work. Let's get the white off of this. Okay, cool. And we have this one done too. I'm thinking we need a word or phrase or something right there. I wonder if... Oh, not that one. I'm all... <laughs> I'm all in the wrong spots here. I'm wondering about this. I'm wondering about the pink monarch, these little phrases. There's one that... Yeah, we're going to put that right across there, right? Yes, I love it when a plan comes together. Love it. Am I? Okay. I was just checking to make sure I wasn't clear off camera doing all this. So, yeah, we'll be driving home and then... Oh, actually, this Sunday, no. The sun, this Sunday is the last day of my retreat when this shows. That's what this Sunday is. Because I'm just that far ahead on my filming. Oh, it's been quite, it's been quite a, quite a task, but I got her done. So I don't know on the next one, it, once again, if I'll have videos the whole time but I'll try you know I will try oh my gosh you guys I love that one love that one with this little tag isn't that so much fun okay cool that one's in the done pile okay now we're to things that don't I haven't picked anything out on so I have these two I have these that are Jelly prints attached to um, 
I don't know, it's either cardstock or watercolor paper. I can't exactly tell. Oh, no, they're not attached. They're actually, they're actually printed because I grabbed these and um, used them for mopping things up. Look at that one. Isn't that fun? Let's play with that one. Mm, I just love that. I feel like it needs something naturey, either a flower or. Hmm, I don't know. I was thinking about a mushroom just for something different. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Yes, I'm going to put those mushrooms on there. I'm sorry, I don't know where my mushrooms came from. They're all in one bucket. Uh, maybe Journey of Crafting, there's some. There's some washy ones in there. But uh, Okay. I'm just going to use this again because it's right at hand. And let's put those on there. So hopefully my little bucket of to-dos will be more manageable after these couple of days of working on things. Okay. So we're going to put this guy on there and then we'll decide what else from, from there. Getting to the end of this glue stick, too. And I've had it open literally for hours, so it's it's not happy right now. Let's just say that, and I don't want to rip these. <laughs> Here we go. Now it's a little happier. I don't want it too far. There, there we go. That's good. Okay. Oh, that's very fun. Okay. Let's see. I think I want to round the corners. I'll probably sew around this just because I love how that gives it another bit of texture to it and then we need something across there like that will do okay And I guess maybe a little bit of distressing on the edges, but then that one is done. Just love the colors of that. I probably won't use it until fall, but I love it. Okay, um, and maybe... I don't know, maybe if there was a fairy or gnome or something journal before that. Oh yeah, that's just, that one makes me happy too. Oh, the sun is out. It's been cloudy all day. That makes me happy. After I finish this video, I might go sit outside look it and then I'll just sew around it and that one will be done so it's going in the not done pile <laughs> okay what about like one of these like, what about that one let's I'm just going to ink and think for a second and 
put some aged mahogany on this one. And think about what do we want on here? It's pretty. Okay. just do could just do a flower and some sort of little label let's see let's look at the washi flowers and see if there's something oh this is a good candidate right off the bat right there <laughs> I don't know if you can get much snappier than the decisions I'm making right now pretty impressed with myself can you tell Not impressive, Gail. You're just, you're just lucky. Okay, okay, we got it. My hands are so full of glue and, oops, so full of glue and ink and everything that. Oh my gosh, that's perfect right there. Okay, and then maybe something there. I need to print out my words from Lens Altered Arts again. I could feel like I've used all my medium size. No, I guess I haven't. A whole batch of them. I mean, I love the beauty. I think I'd like a, one of the thicker ones. Gracious. Let's see here. Magical. Yeah, I think I like that size better. Kind of looking forever What's this one memories I like that one okay yeah I need to print those out again that might have to be my fussy cutting chore here yay and then that one's done too. Okay, simple, but I love it. Okay, so that's in the done done pile, not in the has to be. Hmm. Not feeling excited about this one, so let's look in here. Oh, that's fun. This is pretty. With this is my um. Francis, Francis something, <laughs> digital, Bun, Brun Bridge or something like that. Ooh, that's pretty. These are postcards. These must be from Carrie. I think so. I think these are from Carrie. Ooh, that might be fun. One's fun. Okay. Not feeling that one, and I'm not feeling that one. So those are going back in the box. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do with these. Let's do this one because it's all inked up and ready to go. It just needs a focal point, doesn't it? Um wonder if a Tim Holtz tiny person. 
or something. I don't know. Or maybe, do we have, in the Tim Holtz Tiny People, do we have groups? We do. Look at that cute little group of ladies. Yep, that's going right there. I don't know. I don't know who convinced Tim to do the tiny people, but whoever they were, they're genius because I do just, they are so perfect for a lot of things that the big ones just won't work on. Getting all their little heads gluey. Okay. You little ladies are just going to go right there. So I believe that's a napkin. Ooh. Gosh, it sounded like I broke my pin. Oh no, I need to remember to order a few more of those because I'm seem like I go through them okay so that one's all done that's in the all done pile all right let's check our time oh we are doing so good boy when you pick out the stuff ahead of time it really kind of goes quicker okay I'm loving this one I think I'd like to aged mahogany it and think about what do we maybe we'll Maybe we'll put a bird on this one. Oh, isn't that, it's so pretty with this aged mahogany. I do thank you to whoever said, what happened to it? You're not using it. <laughs> oh, it's over on my shelf. Okay, I just get a little crowded with too many ink pads, but you know, what are you going to do? You need them. So, do we want birds? Um, okay. We could do die cuts, too, is the other thing. But I am kind of feeling birds on this one. Okay, this guy has a squashed head because of the way he was printed. But I was thinking I could use him right there. And then, and then maybe just like a little label there, and then maybe a number or something there. I think I have some tiny numbers. Granted, there's already a number up here, but that could go there. And. And it's not too bad, but ooh, what about this one like that? I like how it brings in the color of the bird. Okay, decisions made there. Okay, we gotta give him a little bit of, a little bit of something around his little face and stuff. Going vintage photo for the bird. I just finished cutting out so many owls. <laughs> I, I reprinted those because um, I've got that journal coming up. Let's see. Let's tear a little more off of there. And then we're going to give this some edge too. All right. Cool. Okay, so this one is well on its way.
like that. See, you little dude or girl, I think I'll put you on first. Okay, now you guys will be after me because I cut off their heads, but that's how he printed. And the good thing is, is I'm still using him, right? Even though he didn't come out perfect. It's okay, you don't have to be perfect, little bird. You just look like you're going up and off the picture. And this is gonna go right about there. Okay, another journal card done. Yes. Let's let's play with some of Carrie's here. Um I'm feeling maybe flower. And then a label. Yeah. Oh, that's from another flower. <laughs> Yay. I was thinking he was all bent, but nope, it was from another flower. Oh my goodness, come off of there, you. Cute. Oh, little label there. I think I want something kind of neutral because, although I do like that because that kind of, yep. And then I think I'm going to do a bit, a bit of a darker distress ink on this one, like a, maybe a little walnut stain or something. There we go. Okay. Let's try walnut stain. Let's see how it does. Yeah, I like that because that butterfly is so dark. I'm feeling the feeling the urge to do some collaging on book page, do a collage roll or something like that. Let's see. What's today? Today is Sunday. Could do that for next Tuesday. Mixed Media Monday. What are we going to do for that? I don't know yet. Okay. Well, it's very, there's a lot going on, but I like it. So that one's done. Okay. Oh, we're good. We have 15 minutes left. I think I'll do this one too. This one I collaged. I uh, recognize it. I do not know what to do with it. Um, I actually recognize this as I think I did um, some collage book page of papers that I kept um, sort of bypassing in my in my scrap bin it's like i just would never use them never use them once i collaged them i really liked how they turned out so that needs a big something to tie all that together i feel like um sure what I have left for bunnies. 
Let's think of maybe a bunny. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh, speaking of cute, my daughter sent a she she and my husband do Snapchat. I'm I'm just basically not going there because I have enough social media stuff that it sometimes drives me crazy. So he would be kind of cute there. See, he's cut off because of a printing error on my part. Let's see if we have, oh, we do have a whole one of him. Um, anyway, sent a Snapchat of Bucky. <laughs> he's obsessed with dinosaurs. Just loves the dinosaurs. And um, well, he's kind of cute too. What do I do? What do we do? He's a bit big. I'm going to say he's a bit big. I think I'm going to use this bunny. I think he's cute right there. Then we could put a butterfly up there and some little label there. That's my plan anyway. Um, yeah, he gets so... They had him... He has like way too many plastic dinosaurs and they had them all lined up on the kitchen table and they were looking at a dinosaur book and then he would pick out his dinosaur um did i use this for that age mahogany it kind of looks like i did i don't know <laughs> oh well anyway um he'd pick out whatever dinosaur it was so cute Apparently, they have a Jurassic Park in Denver, so my daughter wants Mike and I to come, and they want to take Bucky for the first time, and they want us to be there for his first time at Jurassic Park, and I was like, oh, yes, please, that would be really fun. Um, that's not too bad, but see, I've been doing so good at just picking the right thing right off the bat. That one's not horrible. I'm going to leave it out. Um, yeah, I've been one's in too much. It's a bit too blue. Love this guy. I think he's not bad. I think I like him. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be fun to see him going nuts over the dinosaurs? <laughs> and I think the big kids would have fun too because you know there's I think there's rides and stuff. Most of which I don't know if Bucky's probably too little for. Be too scary. Don't want him to be scared of his beloved dinosaurs. Do have a bunny journal on the go too. Oh, I didn't. I didn't distress that, but that's okay. Okay, then I was thinking like a little tiny label right there. Or a little word. What about a jewel design has up and down words. I'm going with that one. Wonderful. Okay, so we got that. Okay, this right here is bugging me. I'm going to see if I have a little piece of... Um, 
little piece of book page to put right there or something. Just because you've finished the collage doesn't have doesn't mean the collage has to be finished, if you know what I mean. You can always add to it if something's bugging you. That was right there. Okay, I like that better. Alrighty then, that one's done. A little white, a little bit white. There we go. Cool. Done. How we doing? Oh, we don't have much time, so let's just. Look at what we've done. I'm just going to pop my glue away, get rid of the glue book so we have room. These bits will go these bits will go back into the These are really cute. Those those will be fun. I'll find something for those. Okay. So those are going to go back in and I will say there's a little more room in there now. Because look, all did. Okay, so we did this cute little pocket. My camera with that, yeah. We did that little pocket. We did this belly band and pocket. And we did these two love those we did all sorts of journal cards i love it that they're already sewn around for the most part and then this one i love that one so that's what we got done today thank you thank you for helping me weed out pare down use up my to-do box. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!